Let's do it. Unifert circle as fast as we can. This coordinate here is going to be 1, 0. This coordinate here is 0, 1. Negative 1, 0. 0, negative 1. Now I'm going to divide all these by 2. All these fractions, and they're all divided by 2 on the unit circle. So it should go pretty rapid. Oops. All divided by 2. Not divided by 3. It's divided by 2. Now this 0, 1 here, that 1 slides over. That gives me a 1, a 2, and a 3, a 1, a 2, and a 3. Square root everything but the 1s. Well, you could, but the square root of 1 is 1. This 1 drops down. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Square root everything but the 1s. This here 1 slides over to this side. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Square root everything but the 1s. I know what you're thinking. Negatives to be involved. This 1 drops down. I'm trying to do it fast. 1, 2, 3. Three, one, two, three, square everything but the ones. Now let's deal with the negatives. Positive, positive, negative, positive. So this is going to be negative. Negative, negative. Negative, negative in quadrant three. So everything gets a negative in front of it down here in quadrant three. Over here in quadrant four, it's positive, negative. So only the y values get a negative. Now let's deal with degrees. This is zero degrees, 30 degrees. What I'm going to want to do is highlight all those 45 degrees where it's square root of 2 over 2. Highlight all those 45 degrees where it's square root of 2 over 2. That's going to be helpful in the long run. You'll see why. I'm trying to do it fast. Skip it. Add 30. That's 60 degrees. Add 30. That's 90 degrees. Add 30. That's 120. Keep adding 30. It should be 150. 180 if I add 30 to that. 210. Add 30. That's 240. Add 30. That's going to give me 270 degrees. 300 degrees if I just keep adding 30. 330. Add 30, 360. Now let's do this. I add 15. That gives me 45. I add 15. That gives me 135. I could add 15 to here, and that gives me 225. Now the weightlifters know all of these. Add 15. That's 315. Now I'm going to deal with the radians. And it's a good thing that I have these highlighted. It's going to start in that there's this is pi over 6. I'm going to skip that, and this is 2 pi over 6. I'm going to erase that and simplify it later. This is 3 pi over 6. This is 4 pi over 6. This is 5 pi over 6. 6 pi over 6 is just pi. 7 pi over 6. Skip that. 8 pi over 6. 9 pi over 6. 10 pi over 6. Skip that. 11 pi over 6. 12 pi over 6 should simplify to just plain old 2 pi. And I guess this is 0 radians. So I'm going to simplify these. That's going to be pi over 3. 3 pi over 6. Well, 3 over 6 is just half pi, or pi over 2. 4 pi over 6, that simplifies. That's going to be 2 pi over 3. 8 pi over 6, cut those in half. That's 4 pi over 3. 9 pi over 6, divide 9 by 3. That gives me 3. Pi over 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. Cut these in half. That gives me 5 pi over 3. Now I'm going to do the 45 degree increments. To do this, to be helpful, I'm going to circle the 90 degree increments, because 45 also goes into 90. Here it goes. It's 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4, it checks. 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and I think I'm done. Here I'm doing it in time lapse. The fastest I've ever done it is in 2 minutes 9 seconds. I've had students do it a little bit faster, but right around 2 minutes is as fast as it can go.